he likes you though. He loves me. We know each other. We know each other. We do. Do you want it? <laughs> Hello everyone, what's up? How you doing? It's me Magdalena. This video is going to be a voiceover because as you can see the salon is up and running which means a lot of dogs which equals a lot of noise, dryers running, phone calls are happening, people are talking on the phone in the background, meaning Gina. So I thought a voiceover would be great for this video and today we're going to be focusing on Jelly, this Pomeranian here. And we're focusing on him in particular because of what I'm showing you and it's called Alopecia X or Black Skin Disease. A lot of dogs like Pomeranians, Malamutes, Kishans, and Chow Chows tend to have this uh, disease, Alopecia X. It's genetic. And it's basically, as you can see, when the coat becomes sparse and coarse, so his coat is not soft like many other Pomeranians, his skin has changed pigment to black, which is why it's called black skin disease. Dogs with this disease, or alopecia X, their skin can become scaly. Jelly, not really in particular, has that issue. It is itchy though, I can tell, especially around where his tail meets his body. So alopecia X can be seen in puppies, but it can also be seen in later stages in life. So it doesn't always show up immediately. Sometimes it, a year or two, it, it really can show up at any time, if not in the puppy stages. So when you are looking to adopt or buy a Pomeranian from a breeder and you want to avoid this, I would ask for pictures of the pet parents now, like current photos, or if they have them there in person and you're allowed to say hi, I would definitely ask to do so because that will definitely give you a good idea of that as well because it is genetic. There is no way to do blood testing that's effective from what I've researched, but it's usually diagnosed through a physical exam. As far as remedying it or reversing it, there hasn't been any real um, success stories. There was one woman on the internet who did microneedling on a Pomeranian and that was kind of interesting to me. Um, I've definitely heard of microneedling like cosmetically but not on a dog. Um, I don't think it hurts. I don't, I really, I honestly don't know anything about microneedling but the hair did come back on this particular Pomeranian. I'll leave the link to that down below as well. That particular dog's hair came back white instead of this orangey gold tone that Jelly has going on here. So definitely something to look out for. Ask for pictures of the parents, genetic history, blood work, everything. These dogs are also prone to collapsing trachea, heart disease, seizures, hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and luxating patellas. The thing with luxating patellas is it is common and there are actually four different stages of it. So from stages one to two, a lot of dogs do live with it and they usually just tend to pop their knee back into its socket on their own by like doing a little horse kick. Um, but after stages three and four, that's typically when they need to get surgery. So definitely something to look out for, but not really anything to worry about because a lot of dogs do live with it. If you are looking to get one of these dogs or any dog, if for that matter, definitely do your research. Do your research on their temperament, health, um, coat maintenance as far as grooming, and just everything about the dog that you are looking to get because sometimes you think, oh, you know, oh, that dog is so cute and I would love one, but its lifestyle may not work with yours because if you're super active and you love hiking and you like to go out for long periods of time in the summertime, then maybe getting a dog with a pushed in face isn't such a good idea. 
But if you're someone who lounges around all day and, you know, kind of after work is really tired, you just want to stay home and relax, then maybe getting a dog that doesn't require as much exercise might be a good idea. And then if you're someone who kind of meets in the middle, then I think it's more flexible with what kind of breed you want. But also you got to think of their temperament and their grooming maintenance so if you want to get a dog and have them have really long hair that's something to look into if you don't want to be bothered with brushing you're gonna have to get your dog groomed more often if you don't want to deal with little to no grooming then maybe getting a dog with a extremely short coat but you will still need to get the nails and ears cleaned by a professional so just saying just something to look into and here we are, blow drying jelly. I'm putting the happy hoodie on him and he looks mortified. Um, I think it's because the happy hoodie kind of pulls on their face when I put it on, but I pull it up towards their nose again, just to kind of, so the skin doesn't get pulled on. So I guess I can talk a little bit about Pomeranians. I took a bunch of notes that I thought were kind of interesting that I personally didn't know about them. So Pomeranians are actually from Old Duchy of Pomerania. It was a medieval territory ruled by a duke or duchess and then they were popularized in Greece and Rome. And before they became this small toy breed companion lap dog, they were actually used for livestock and they controlled sheep, cattle, and deer, which is actually really funny. I'm going to be shortly moving on to the grooming portion of this video, um, which is very little because I do not cut this dog's hair. He needs all the hair he can get, if anything. Um, and so now they're, what, like I said, toy breed companion dog. And it's really funny because they are extremely intelligent, alert, affectionate, and very active, but it also explains why they can be so vocal because they literally had to control sheep and cattle and deer. They were obviously a little bit bigger than the size they were, they are now, but it really explains why they were vocal because they had to yell at the top of their lungs to get animals and livestock to do what they needed them to do, what they were bred to do. And then, so we're just gonna be doing the, the real basics of grooming here with Jelly. I'm just brushing him out with the CC brush that I mentioned in my last video. And all Jelly needs, or all any Pomeranian really needs, unless you want a haircut, which is fine. I don't really, you know, recommend cutting into double-coated breeds like this because you can end up with something like this in the long run when you shave or cut too deep down into the coat with a double coat. Um, the coat can actually do exactly what Jelly's coat's doing, is grow back a different color, um, sparseness. You can traumatize the hair follicles by doing this. But for Jelly today, we're gonna be doing what we just did, a bath, nail trimming, ear cleaning, sanitary pads, cleaning up his little feet, and just the real basic stuff. He doesn't really need much done. So yeah, I'll let you enjoy this bit. I'll be back. Thank you. 
So guess who doesn't like getting their nails done? It's gelatin jelly. Jelly doesn't like getting his nails done. So I'm just having Gina hold him up in the air, mid air to be exact, so that he has no leverage on Gina's body or mine. And I'm just having her do it this way because it's just the quickest way. Jelly obviously doesn't like it. He's not biting, so that's great. He just doesn't prefer it. So we're just getting it done quick and easy for everyone here. And this took probably a couple minutes. And then that's it. And now we can move on. Easy, less stress, the better.
All right, so what we're about to do is the only other trimming that I do on this dog, and that's gonna be around his ears, behind his ears, mostly on the sides and in front of his ears, just getting that wispy stuff, those sticky outies that are sticking up over his ears and in front, just because it gives him a cleaner, nicely groomed look, kind of accentuates his little teddy bear ears because they're real cute, and it just makes his head look rounder and makes him look nice and clean and cared for jelly eating all those treats can't focus on anything but those treats oh my gosh delicious i think those were our peanut butter bacon cookies by the catered canine delicious everyone loves them All right, everyone, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys learned a little something something from this. I know I had no idea what Alopecia X was when I first started working with Jelly. I was very curious and now I know. And for those of you who are looking into a Pomeranian or for any of the other breeds that I listed that are prone to this disease, please do your research or on any other dog you're looking into. See if your breeder's done blood work, testing, check the current health of their parent check their temperament, everything. Do your research through and through. Check out what you're getting yourself into. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!